Moses said to the people, You must obey the Lord your God and follow all the laws and commands that are in the book of the law. You must trust him with all your heart and soul. What I am commanding you today is not too hard. It isn't out of your reach somewhere up in the sky. You don't have to ask yourselves, who will go up in the sky and get it for us? Who will bring it down and tell us what we must do? What I am commanding you is not on the other side of the sea. You don't have to ask yourselves, who will cross the sea and get it for us? Who will bring it here and tell us what to do? No, what I am commanding is as near as your mouth to your heart. All you have to do is obey. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I pray to you, Lord, so when the time is right, answer me and help me with your wonderful love. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am mistreated and in pain. Protect me, God, and keep me safe. I will praise the Lord God with a song and a thankful heart. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, Christ is the head of his body, which is the church. He is the very beginning, the first to be raised from death, so that he would be above all others. God himself was pleased to live fully in his son, and God was pleased for him to make peace by sacrificing his blood on the cross so that all beings in heaven and on earth would be brought back to God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An expert in the law of Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question to see what he would say. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to have eternal life? Jesus answered, what is written in the scriptures? How do you understand them? The man replied, the scriptures say, love the Lord your God with all your heart soul, strength, and mind. They also say, love your neighbors as much as you love yourself. Jesus said, you have given the right answer. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. So he asked Jesus, who are my neighbors? Jesus replied, as a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, Robbers attacked him and grabbed everything he had. They beat him up and ran off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, but when he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. Later, a temple helper came to the same place. 
But when he saw the men who had been beaten up, he also went by on the other side. A man from Samaria then came traveling along that road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and went over to him. He treated his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put him on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next morning he gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, please take care of the man. If you spend more than this on him, I will pay you when I return. Then Jesus asked, which of these three people was a real neighbor to the man who was beaten up by robbers? The teacher answered, the one who showed pity. Jesus said, go and do the same. The Gospel of the Lord. So to sum up the story again, a teacher asked Jesus, how do you get into heaven? And the answer Jesus gave was this. Number one, love God with everything you have, your entire heart, soul, and mind. And number two, love your neighbors as yourself. But the teacher asked Jesus, well, who are my neighbors? If I asked you that, you'd probably give me the names of the families and the people living next door to you. But that's not only who Jesus is referring to. Jesus gives the story of a Jewish man who was robbed, beaten, and left on the side of the road, leaving him close to death. Three people passed by, a priest who did nothing to help the man, a temple helper who did nothing to help the man, and someone from the region of Samaria. Now back then, the Jewish people didn't accept anyone from Samaria as their neighbor, but the Samaritan didn't care about that. He saw someone who needed help. He treated his injuries, he took him to an inn, he paid for the man to stay at the inn. So of the three people, only the Samaritan helped the injured man. So to Jesus, a neighbor is not who lives next to you, but it's anyone you can help in your family, your friends, your neighborhood, your school. Who do you come in contact with and who can you help so that you can do what is right and follow the words of Jesus? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resur resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing that God will hear our prayers, let us pray in confidence for all we need. When I say, we pray, you say, Lord, hear our prayer. May the day quickly come when all believers are united in praise of the one true God. May everyone seek to understand those who are different from themselves. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May every person be treated with respect and dignity as a beloved child of God. 
May all in the military and missions and their loved ones be safe and secure. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the faith and joy of believers attract unbelievers into God's loving arms and into his church. May our parish be blessed with an increase in priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May those on the verge of giving up find strength, and those filled with doubts be filled with faith. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. If you have people you would like to pray for, please do that now. For these intentions and those listed in our parish prayer book, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we know you hear and answer us whenever we call upon you. With the help of your Holy Spirit, may we hear and answer you too whenever you call upon us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>